Yo, what is up guys? It is Esports Content Entertainment coming at you guys with another video here today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Excel and Team Vitality. So at LEC Willow tweets, sources support Targamas has reached a verbal agreement with Excel for next year. So Targamas is going to be replacing Mickey X on Excel for the LEC 2023 season. So Targamas joined the LEC with G2 Esports at the beginning of the LEC. 2022 spring split where he was paired with Flackid and as a bot lane Flackid and Targamas were all right as a bot lane they weren't really anything exceptional they weren't really anything like great I think they were just solid all things considered when you look at their year on G2 Esports in its entirety. They did win the LEC 2022 spring split they finished top four at the 2022 midseason invitational but you you could tell like when they lost to T1 in that semifinal matchup at the 2022 midseason invitational they completely just didn't really play the same actually after that i think their bot lane was really good at one point in the LEC but then after MSI 2022 they just kind of just fell off actually you know then they weren't really that good during the lec 2022 summer split i think in the playoffs they also struggled a little bit but they were also against you know misfits you know to start out the playoffs actually where they looked pretty good then they looked good against rogue but then they looked completely like ass against rogue in the lec 2022 Summer Split Finals, uh, then when uh, G2 went to the uh, 2022 League of Legends World Championship, uh, Targamas and Flakid were really bad. Like, the only good game they actually had was against uh, Evil Geniuses when they beat them, actually. Other than that, they really didn't look that good, honestly. And I know, randomly, these guys have a lot of fans because, obviously, you know, winning on G2 Esports will give you that, you know? But Flag and Targamas got hard gapped at, you know, Worlds. They were also not playing that well, you know, at various moments, you know, during the LEC 2022 season on G2 Esports. And Targamas himself, he wasn't really anything super exceptional or really anything great. He was definitely a top four support or at least a top six, su six support, but he never really, I think paired up with t with Yankos very well. I, I think that him and Yankos just didn't really have that good of synergy. It just kind of felt like the bot lane was just all on their own on G2. Now, whether or not it was because Targamus was really, like, lane-focused, it could have been a lot of things, but I didn't really see this guy roaming around the map all too much. I just really saw this guy just playing in lane and just losing, you know, more than less, right? I'm not saying he lost every single lane, but just whenever I saw him in lane, he was just only in lane. He never really, like, impacted the game the way, like, other supports actually did. So, yeah, Targamas joining Excel. That rounds out Excel's roster. They have Odawamne, Xerxe, Vettio, Patrick, and Targamas. That sounds like a pretty good roster on paper, at least a top four roster, you know, for the LEC, you know, and if the LEC are going to be going into this, like, newer, you know, um, format for their, uh, system for the LEC, that might be an actual point we would have to look at and go, can Excel win a title, you know, we, are they going to be getting rid of Young Buck? I don't really know if they might actually do that, um, but yeah, I like the upgrades in their roster it looks like they did they, they just made upgrades just across the board you know depending on the other teams off season and how they really go it looks like g2 and excel have pretty much just won the off season you know right now i think that these have been all great pickups for excel getting upgrades in every single position but it's not just upgrades and just player strength right you're getting upgrades and stuff you needed they needed a more veteran top laner who could like you know control the pace of the game play weak side and not just grief the game they needed a, a, a more consistent stable jungler who actually just wasn't a player who just you know just roamed randomly around the map not really doing anything that's kind of just what Markun was doing a lot of times with Nuke Duck. So you have an upgrade in the topside duo. Nuke Duck really wasn't even really winning any laning phases. He was just kind of just okay. He was just basically like Froggen, to be honest with you. 
Now you have Vettio, a player with more carry potential, which is going to be good. Then you have Patrick. We know how good he is. And you have Targamas. I, I think the only weak link on the roster right now is going to be Targamas. We're just going to have to see how he pairs up uh, with, um, you know, Patrick. But we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I like uh, Excel's roster right now. I think it looks actually pretty good. Now, this one was something that we talked about was that could, you know, Team Vitality get rid of Alfari? Because Alfari did not play well this year he played really bad so you're thinking to yourself if they want to play bow well wouldn't it be better to pair up bow with another like you know foreign player actually but bow is chinese and well this guy right here we're going to talk about is korean so their roster is gonna what look like bow photon and perks and uh kaiser so who'd be their adc You'd be like this upset that that's a weird roster right there that's if they're gonna play bow you know uh lec willow tweets sources top laner photon has reached a verbal agreement with team vitality he played for t1 challengers this year so we know how good t1 players are i mean cloud nine literally won you know an lcs title with a former t1 challenger player Berserker was on T1 Challengers at one current moment in time, you know? Uh, T1 has a great system for getting in, you know, rookie players and building them up, actually. So I think that's a really good thing. But, yeah, them getting rid of Alfari for this guy, I, I mean, we don't know if this is going to be an upgrade uh, because, well, we've I've never seen this guy play, so I really wouldn't know, honestly. But, yeah, it's not shocking to me either, given the fact that, you know, Alfari played pretty bad, and Team Vitality definitely want to make roster adjustments so it puts them in contention to potentially win a LEC title this year. You you could tell XL and Team Vitality really, really want to win this year by the amount of roster announcements and players that they actually are picking up. But it just depends on who else they actually get. So we know they have perks. Kaiser and Photon and Bo. I think they'll bring up Bo, but we'll have to see if that comes to fruition. So I also have two other players to talk about before you know any other news comes out. I'm gonna try and get that video done before, but we, we got to talk about two other players changing rosters, and I'm, I'm just gonna combine that all into one video. I like doing the solo videos, you know, but sometimes if I don't have enough time to just do the two solo videos, I'll just do one video talking about two players together. That's what I also like doing as well, and that's what I'm gonna be doing for these other two players in the next video after you see the reckless video so after this video guys you're going to see the reckless video and after that you're going to get a video talking about where these other two players are going to end up going but yeah i like excel's roster i think they actually made a lot of the good moves that they needed hopefully this is going to be what they need to actually potentially you know contest for a title team vitality still looks kind of just up in the air now we just pretty much have to wait for like what is fanatic and sk gaming and team bds going to be doing i think adam is going to end up where, where is Adam, actually? I think Adam is going to be going back to the main roster of Team BDS. But let's see how it goes. What do you guys think about uh, Targamas joining Excel and Photon joining Team Vitality? So see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I am MSK, and this is Esports Content Entertainment. You're one place for esports content. All right, guys. Deuces.